Hello guys, today we will see how to achieve curved motion blur in Houdini using Vex. As you can see on my screen, I have rendered this in Arnold and these are the particles rendered, not the particle trails. You can see here, I have nice curved particle motion blur. So let's dive into Houdini and see how to achieve this. As you can see on my screen, I have an Arnold light and which is a skydom. And on this, I have a sphere. I calculated point normals and then I converted that normals into velocity. And here in the pop net, I have just added pop wind. And this is my simulation. If I go in uh, render view and if I press render it will look like sphere even though if i turn on the motion blur and if i press enter then also we won't have any curved motion blur so let's calculate it using few vex code first we will look for the attribute which have the id attribute as the value of a minus one so to do that first we will use time shift node and we will make this as a one frame forward so we will put plus one here and then we will take attribute wrangle node let's connect this and here we will use uh, find attribute value function and it will look for the id attribute from the second input of the attribute wrangle so to do that we will write integer id is equal to find attribute value here we will look for the first input like in the from the second input then we will write point here we will write id and we will look for the id attribute now we have stored this uh, value into a variable integer variable called id here we will use if statement if the id is equal to negative one then we will delete that point remove point zero comma at pt num now if the attribute value have the negative one then it will remove that point what if the point do not have the negative one value then it will do this following things to do that we will write else then we will use a curly bracket here then here we will store the velocity of the second input into a variable called v2 so we will write v2 here and we will use point we will look velocity from the second input of the attribute wrangle and here instead of pt num we will use id since we have calculated the id here now here we have to calculate the acceleration as well so to calculate the acceleration we have one uh, scientific formula called acceleration is equal to velocity upon time so we will do the same thing here as well so to do that vector acceleration is equal to here we will use v2 minus current velocity from the first input divide by time increment so this line will calculate our acceleration and then we have to calculate the time which have been changed so as you know uh, the curved motion blur uses float frame not the integer frame if i uh, take an attribute wrangle here and connect it and if i write f at the rate 
एफ एट द रेट टाइम इज इक्वल टू एट फ्रेम ना इफ आई गो इन स्प्रेड सीट एंड इफ आई सी टाइम हाइड ऑल एट्रीब्यूट एंड वी विल ओनली लुक फॉर दैट टाइम एस यू कैन सी हेयर वी हैव इफ आई टर्न ऑन द फ्रैक्शनल फ्रेम एज वेल देन इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस एस यू कैन सी पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट थ्री सेम एस अवर फ्रेम नंबर सो हेयर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू कंप्यूट दैट फ्रैक्शनल फ्रेम विद द हेल्प ऑफ अवर इंटीजर फ्रेम सो टू डू दैट वी विल यूज फ्लोट फ्लोट टाइम इज इक्वल टू एट द रेट अवर फ्रैक्शनल फ्रेम माइनस नाउ हेयर वी विल यूज रिंट फंक्शन वॉट द रिंस रिंट फंक्शन विल डू इट विल यूज राउंड टू नियरेस्ट इंटीजर सपोज इफ आई गो ऑन दिस राउंडिंग कैलकुलेटर एंड अज्यूम डेट वी आर ऑन फ्रेम नंबर थाउजेंड एंड एट पॉइंट सिक्स सो इफ आई कैलकुलेट द रिंट ऑफ दिस देन इट विल बी थाउजेंड एंड नाइन एंड इफ आर वैल्यू इज थाउजेंड एंड एट पॉइंट टू देन इट विल बी थाउजेंड एंड एट ऑनली सो वी विल यूज योर रिंट ऑनली एंड देन फ्रेम सॉरी एफ विल बी कैपिटल देन पुट कॉलन हेयर हेयर नाउ वी हैव टू अपडेट अवर पोजिशन बेस ऑन दिस कैलकुलेटेड वेरिएबल्स सो टू डू डेट वी विल राइट एट पी प्लस इज इक्वल टू एट द रेट करंट वेलोसिटी इन टू वी विल यूज टाइम इन टू हेयर वी विल यूज टाइम इंक्रीमेंट एज वेल एंड देन वी विल यूज प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव since we have calculated excel as well so we will use acceleration into power time into time increment time increment comma 2 now we will update our velocity as well v at v plus is equal to we will use acceleration into time into at time i and c then we will close our bracket if i uh, take a time shift node if i use dollar f minus 0.125 and we have to turn off this integer frame here point two five here point three five and here four five and here point five let's make one more duplicate of this and put it here here we will use plus uh, plus sign instead of a negative plus here also plus and if i merge both of this then you can see here we we have our curved points so let's take a add node and go to polygons by group and from attribute we will write id here so this is our curved motion blur now it is only for visualization we delete that and add a null here we will render this instead of uh, our pop net and one more thing to add is our p scale since we have a very big sphere here so at p scale is equal to 0.002 and here 
let's save it and press now you can see our motion blur is fixed but we still don't have a proper uh, curved here so to fix this let's first increase the camera samples to 10 and let's turn on this max camera and TLIZ. now we will have uh, something like this now in the motion blur tab increase the transform key and deform key to 10 10 now you can see we have this curve kind of thing so first uh, let's increase this uh, intensity and exposure or else we can add color attribute here color we will use age 420 and we will use black body here and let's make a one Arnold shader here Arnold shader network standard surface this will go in surface and we will use user data RGB to call out our color attribute here and then I will apply this on our geometry and let's save it and press enter now you can see we have a nice curve motion blur here you can see here this this one this one this and if i go in some other frame as well we will have something like this now to increase the the length of this uh, particle trails we can use one more attribute mirror angle and after the simulation and we will multiply our velocity by like uh, let's multiply it by 10 and now if i save this and hit the render view again then you can see we have a big kind of trails here and we have to increase our sampling little bit more to get proper this yeah now you can see this curved motion blur kind of thing so in this way you can achieve a proper curved motion blur in particles so if you like this tutorial make sure to hit the like share and subscribe button you can also support me on patreon to so that i will keep uploading these kind of useful tutorials for you see you in the next tutorial bye bye